going to be talking about some aircraft terms here. And some of these terms are listed while in flight. Number one, pushback. So here's our demonstration aircraft. A pushback is when an aircraft is parked at its gate and it wants to come out of the gate. So the aircraft is towed by usually a tow truck and is conferred by the air traffic control. So, for example, let's say the aircraft is parked right there. So it's, it pushes back like this, coming out very slowly, like that. And it doesn't use its own power, it uses another vehicle, which is towing it from the front. So that's a pushback. Next, vertical speed. This is a unit of measurement for how much a plane climbs, usually per minute. So, vertical speed per minute would be usually it's abbreviated VS slash M if you're doing per minute. So, the VS here, let's say the plane was just taking off. So, this is usually used mainly for measuring when the plane is taking off. So, the regular VS for taking off is about, I would say, 19 to 20,000 feet. And this would look something like that you see it's slightly tilted up and going. Because if it if it goes minus twenty thousand, then it's then it's descending like that. Next we have altitude. Altitude is one of the basic words of aircraft terms. So right here the altitude is how high the plane is up in the air. So let's say the plane's reached an altitude of sixteen thousand feet. It would be way up there at the clouds, but it's not a cruising altitude yet. Next we have number three, out, uh, we have number four, fuel dump. So a fuel dump occurs when the fuel in an aircraft is not genuine and must be dumped by the pilots because sometimes the fuel is not genuine that they put in and it's not powering correctly and they really need to land really fast, which is when th they open the tanks and the, the wings over here and the fuel just dumps out onto the ground, which is how they get the fuel out. Five, slats. So the slats are these tiny little pieces on the wings over here, like these tiny little outline pieces over here. So they open whenever the plane is coming in for takeoff and whenever the plane is coming in for landing and help with aerodynamics and to help the plane slow down faster when it comes in for landing. Number six, ailerons. Ailerons are also on the wing and they're very, very close to the slats. The ailerons, although they're out on the other side of the wings and all the way out on the edge of the wings, they help the aircraft turn without using this uh, little tail flap over there. So the ailerons are moved up. So they flap up whenever the plane needs to turn left or it needs to bank left. So the ailerons would be up right now because the plane is banking left. If it was banking right, the ailerons would be going in the opposite direction. So the ailerons basically help the plane turn without having to use the yoke or the, the chain pedals. Flight data recorder. So the flight data recorder is hidden deep inside an aircraft. You can't see it here. It's very at the heart of the aircraft. And it helps record the flight data as its source name. The FDR sometimes abbreviated. It is sometimes called the black box by the crew. Even though it's not black, it's red most of the time. So it goes in an aircraft, and whenever there's a crash or something, like Malaysian Flight 375 or whatever it was, the, 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 the black box, however, in this situation, the black box could not be found. But in most situations, in most crash situations, the black box could be relocated and it could be played back to find out what caused the crash. And that is all of our aircraft terms. Goodbye.